Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Black Sonic, and I'm here with another gameplay. This is Kill Confirmed on Dome, I think. Yep. And I'm using the PP90M1. Now, this is a sort of like a rushing sort of game, so I get a lot of kills, but I also get quite a lot of deaths. I think I die straight away here. Nope. Yes, I do. <clears throat> and yeah, I thought it was quite an entertaining gameplay, as I said before in my last commentary. I like to post more entertaining gameplays rather than flawless gameplays because I think, well, I personally think they're more interesting to watch. I'd rather watch someone try hard, sort of run around, like being active rather than just sort of trying to go flawless and being stealthy and all of that. Or like spawn trapping people to get Moabs and stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with all of that. There's no point in it for me. But yeah, as I said in my last commentary. I'm very new to this, so this is only my second video, and I'm going to try to do my best, and I, I am going to post quite a lot, just not every day, as I said before. Now, something that I forgot to mention in my other video is that I'm going to be posting quite, well, when Black Ops 2 comes out, I'm going to be posting it all of the time. I might even start posting that every day, but I'm not sure, but... It's been a long time on Modern Warfare 3 now. Everybody's getting bored of the game. Everyone's saying I shouldn't have started at this time. I should have waited for Black Ops 2. But at the end of the day, I'd rather get that little bit, that little bit of experience before. Because if I'm just starting out as a new commentator, I need a little bit of experience before I get into something like Black Ops 2. And everyone always says a new game can make, can really make a commentator can really help a commentator out but obviously it's different because I'm literally brand new but my last video was only what a couple days ago yesterday or something and yeah so hopefully Black Ops 2 does a lot for me there's a lot of exciting things that I've heard about it a lot of exciting things that you see all the information I just seen the new surprise trailer with Robert Downey Jr in it and FPS Russia and quite a few people and that is the best trailer I've seen so far. I like the multiplayer trailers, but obviously, for me, I just like entertaining trailers. Now, I spoke a little bit about the Elgato that I bought, which I didn't really explain properly, but let me just explain that. I bought the Elgato over the HDPVR2 because of the time shift that the Elgato has. It has a time shift thing where you can sort of, it's like a theatre mode almost but it records a little bit better. It literally records without you recording. It saves a temporary file on your computer so you can go back and record. Like from where you've missed a clip, if you've got a good montage clip or anything like that. And Elgato also put their intro video on their YouTube and said anyone could use it, which is why I'm using it. So I'm not sponsored by them or anything, obviously. I'm only new, but they said anyone can use it, so I used it. And yeah, I also I started talking about my bad habits, but I forgot to actually mention half of them. But I think I mentioned I can't remember what I mentioned now. It wasn't something so it wasn't something oh drop shotting. That I drop shot quite a bit to give myself the advantage because cause, well why not? Sorry, I just ate something in this going down not very well but yeah I do have quite a lot of bad habits another one would be checking the scoreboard all of the time I check the scoreboard literally <laughs> just way too much way too there isn't a specific time but I just check it quite a lot so you'll see that quite a lot of my gameplays and the other one as you've probably seen through this gameplay and my other gameplay is that I reload pretty much after every kill and that is so frustrating I can't even help it I don't know I don't understand like what what makes me do it I literally just reload after nearly every kill and it's it's frustrating because it gets you killed if there's four or five people there and I'm just not thinking properly I'll start shooting and then I'll just reload like there I'm alright because well I still reloaded and I only shot what 
there must have been about six bullets gone from that and still about about 15 left or so it's ridiculous I reload way too much but what can you do it's just something I can try to improve on with black ops or something <coughs> and yeah hopefully black ops makes me a better player black ops makes me a better commentator like things can only get better especially with this game overall it's going to be a better game so things can only really get better I have very high hope every have everybody everyone that I've heard all the commentators everyone's got a really high expectation of black ops 2 and I just don't I generally I don't know what the hell happened there I saw the grenade and I walked straight into it but yeah I don't think it's gonna be as, I think it's gonna be good but I don't think it's gonna be as good as everyone expects it to be everyone's like oh my god it's gonna be the best game ever and it's like well if you think like that you're gonna be let down you have to be prepared not for the worst but just be prepared for it not to be 100% amazing no one no it's impossible near enough to make a flawless game just straight out like they're gonna have to patch it a lot of times probably there's gonna be so many things wrong with it and everyone always says that everyone was like that on Modern Warfare 3 it came out everyone's like oh this game is new game bro oh my god and then a month later or two months later everyone's like oh I'm bored of it already oh <laughs> lag compensation and all of that and yeah and I'm it's gonna be the same thing like when Black Ops came out the first one that had a really bad problem with lag so it's gonna be literally the same thing near enough like they well I heard that it's connection based that they're gonna it's not on location where they sort of pick who you who they put you in a lobby with it's based on connection if someone's got a good connection they'll put everybody on his connection or her connection but I don't know it just seems a bit too I don't know I'm not sure if you could actually do that I'm not sure if that's something that actually exists or not I know Halo is just straight up sort of league play I think but I don't know hopefully they sort it all out everything's good and we all love the game but there's a big sort of a few people are like oh it's gonna kill off the Call of Duty series because it's in the future and there's all these problems already and everyone's got too high expectations and the other half are just like yeah it's going to be the best game in the world but you never know anyway guys that's the end of the video i go 40 and 15 on this gameplay i thought it was quite an entertaining gameplay so that's why i posted it but thank you very much for watching please subscribe like leave a comment if you like and i'll see you in my next video